do some prop comedy for you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for letting me jump in front of Bubba Smith. I was going to steal his thunder with a name like that. Shit, appreciate it. You guys are really funny. Actually, I'm kind of intimidated by that. I usually don't come and follow all this shit. Um, I uh, was viewing all the comedy from behind there. I really didn't realize what a great view of all you handsome, voluptuous people it is. I was behind these chains, and I was kind of getting sucked into some sort of S&M fantasies. So I wasn't really focusing with all these chains. Kind of looks like I'm on the... The, the set for Hellraiser. <laughs> Pinhead's gonna. I think it's like leftover decorations from Black History Month, perhaps. Or, 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 I thought maybe is Bethlehem Brewer a chain restaurant? I really don't know. <laughs> that being said, I have some uh, other ideas for really creative restaurant concepts. Work with me here. An Aerosmith Chinese restaurant. Walk this way. <laughs> yeah, it'll get you on the way home. A Chinese slash Kenyan restaurant called Walk Don't Run. I got an idea for a gay bar in Reading I'd like to open up called the Reading Rainbow, where all your options and drink specials are included in the children's books. And LeVar Burton is your host, and he wears that little cheesy visor. You know what I'm Anyway, sperm banks are real. Did you guys ever really think about it? <laughs> sperm banks are real. They don't, however, have ATMs. Because making deposits or withdrawals might prove problematic. And if cum was currency, the motto could be, in God we bust. <laughs> Anyways, great service there. However, the bank teller always tells me with a sweet smile, thank you, come again. <laughs> I like to go out to eat. Uh, the early bird special was worms. And that's the last time I go to dine at the bait and tackle shop. Did you ever go to the International House of Pancakes? Huh? My passport was sticky from all the syrup. The, uh, the security agents detained me to ascertain my national origin, which they later found out was Waffle House. <laughs> Jehovah is out to get me. Jehovah has a hit on me. That's why I jo joined the Jehovah Witness Protection Program. <laughs> Did you ever hear of, I can't believe it's not butter? I can believe it. I can believe it. I can believe it. That's what, you what do you get when you mix an atheist with butter? I, I can't believe it's not butter. It's, it's part. It's part two. You know, these are all uh, mostly new, so that's why I was. And I also have this thing in case anyone needs any tables cleared. I can double up. I'm a double threat, working my way towards triple threat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, bow and arrow salesmen know how to target their audience. <laughs> I like to help women who find themselves pregnant with archers. I point them to planned Robin Hood. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a stretch. It's okay. I'm unemployed currently. Nobody wants to sign this. I'm unemployed. I try to get a job at Payless, but I was disappointed to find out that they pay minimum wage, just like everywhere else. I uh, tried to get a job at Redbox, but I didn't fit in. <laughs> I'm glad Valentine's Day is over. I've had bad luck with the ladies. I have very low self-esteem. If I had friends, they could vouch for me. When I was born, kittens put me in a bag and threw me over the bridge. Walmart greeters won't say hi to me. The only threesome I ever had was just me and this pregnant chick. <laughs> I've had bad luck with the ladies, I tell ya. My first girlfriend, in fact, growing up, didn't work out. Oh, no. 
because I was a Virgo and she got hit by a train. <laughs> Just one last thing. I am actually a musician and a busser, so I am a triple threat. Thank you. Texas, calm down. Texas, calm down. You're supposed to be watching that in case any Mexicans sneak in. <laughs> As a musician, I like to do songs about granola, raisins, peanuts. I'll make you a trail mixtape. Thank you very much. Nate Marks, let's hear it again. So, this is, this is as humble a, a presentation as possible, but you can see there's no string to attack. You know, to make magic out of this. Cue up your social media calculators. You kids can become internet famous. If you network the right sites and people, and important ones at that, you can be very popular. And let your self-worth be determined by thumbs up by random strangers. Think about it. Random strangers giving you approval so that you can keep on keeping on. That's what I like. So cue up your social media calculators, social media scarves, miss. I see you have a social media scarf. Your social media nose rings, if you will. Well, I don't need all your social medias, because we're here right now experiencing the human interaction. You know what I mean? I can smell your pheromonal output. It's rank. I don't like it. It makes a nice soup. Together. Here's the uh, instrumental piece for toy keyboard. Speaking of vampires, I'd like to take, take a moment of silence to honor the memory of the recently deceased Luke Perry, punk male 90s icon at Beverly Hills 90210 in the 90s. He was also a vampire in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That's why I segued into this shout out. If you guys are up on your celebrity deaths, I thought you might know. The celebrity death cloud keeps on plowing. Stay tuned, kids. More famous people dying. <laughs> but on a lighter note, he happened to be a vampire, so not only does the legacy live on, so does, so does his blood quench. <laughs> so does his blood quench. Thanks, thanks. Just want to go there. That's what that sounds like. Too.
hello. Yes. You're back. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. <laughs>